Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this system of equations. As you can see over here, if x plus y is 2, x times y is 3, and now we are going to find the value of x power 5 plus y power 5. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Since we are looking for the value for x power 5 plus y power 5, so therefore we are going to manipulate the process this way. I can write x square plus y square and then times x power 3 plus y power 3. Now let's go ahead and file these two binomials. We're going to do the double distribution. I'm going to multiply this and this time this, likewise this and this one as well. So this could be written as x power 5 if we multiply them and then plus x square y power 3 then x power 3 y square and plus finally y power 5. Now let's go ahead and rearrange these terms. I'm going to write x power 5 plus y power 5 and I can write this thing x square y power 3 plus x cube y square. Now let's focus on these two terms. We can see that uh, we got x square and y square is in common. And here's our next step. I can write x power 5 plus uh, y power 5. And here we can factor out x square, y square. And inside parentheses we are left with x plus uh, y and now in this next step I wrote down x square times y square as x times y power 2. Now let me go ahead and call this as equation number 1 and now we can see in this equation we know the value of x times y which is 3. The value of x plus y is 2 if somehow we can find the value of x square plus y square and the value of x cube plus y cube, we can easily find the value of this x power 5 plus y power 5. And in this next step, let's go ahead and find the value of x square plus y square. For that reason, let's focus on this very first equation, x plus y equals to 2. And here I have copied down this equation x plus y equals to 2. Let's go ahead and take the square on both sides and square on this side as well. Now let's go ahead and expand this binomial by using this well-known formula a plus b square. So this could be written as x square plus y square plus 2 times xy equals to Four. And now we know that our x, y value is 3. So I'm going to replace this one by 3. So therefore I can write x square plus y square plus 2 times 3 equals to 4. Let's simplify furthermore x square plus y square plus 6 equal to 4. Let's subtract 6 from both side this is gone so x square plus y square value turns out to be negative 2 and in this next step we are going to find the value of x cube plus y cube for that reason let's focus once again on this very first equation x plus y equals to 2 and here i have copied down this equation x plus y equals to 2. Let's go ahead and take the cube on both sides. Cube on this side and cube on this side. And now we are going to expand this binomial by using this formula a plus b power 3. So the left hand side of this is going to be written as x power 3 plus y power 3 plus 3 times 
x times y times x plus y equals to 2 power 3 is same as we are going to multiply 2 3 times so that's going to give us 8 now we can see that this x plus y value in our case is 2 and this x times y value is 3 so I'm going to replace this one by 2 and this one by 3 so therefore I can write this one x power 3 plus y power 3 plus 3 times x times y in our case is 3 and x plus y is 2 I have just substituted those values equals to 8 so we got x cube plus y cubed plus this is going to give us 18 equals to 8 now let's go ahead and subtract 18 from both sides so this is gone so our x cube plus y cube value turns out to be negative 10 so thus we figured out our two values x square plus y square turns out to be negative 2 and x cube plus y cube turns out to be negative 10 and here's our final step let's go ahead and find the value of x power 5 plus y power 5 for that reason let's go ahead and focus on this equation 1 and here I have copied down this equation 1 and now we are going to solve for this x power 5 plus y power 5 we know that our x plus y value is 2 I'm going to replace it by 2 here x times y value is 3 I'm going to replace it by 3 and likewise x square plus y square value is in our case is negative 2 and finally x cube plus y cube value is negative 10 I'm going to replace it by negative 10 as well and here in this next step I have replaced these values and now let's focus on this part 3 square is 9 9 times 2 is 18 so therefore I can write on the left hand side 20 equal to x power 5 plus y power 5 and plus 18 now let's go ahead and subtract 18 from both sides this is gone so x power 5 plus y power 5 turns out to be simply 2 thus our x power 5 plus y power 5 value turns out to be 2 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye